Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's Valheim video. So, a, a little bit of an update. I said, uh, I think it was maybe a week, maybe a two ago, I basically said I was going to start creating this island. I was going to turn it into an actual like area of like living where there's going to be like a, this little village around. And I made the path and I've divided up the land. And as you can see, I've, I've made a little bit of an advancement on the little flat area. If you haven't seen my little shorts video of the, the base being built by the auto render in this game, it's up in the top right hand corner right now. But OK, this is the first like the main section of my like gated community. And I'm saying this because there will be a gate here at some point when I build it and a bridge because at the moment I have no bridge. And the reason why I have no bridge is because, well, things attack you. And so I separated myself from the rest of the world so yeah this is where i want to build like i want to put a little village in here i'm not sure if workshops are actually stopping spawning but i mean if they're not then i'll just have to do maintenance every now and then but we'll get there okay so th this is my nature area uh, obviously we get our big bonfire there we go adding the wood and it looks pretty cool uh, we've got beehives up here so we can actually we're making like honey as well which is good um it's just like a nicer place to relax you will see these little like sheds next to the walls all the way around. It's where I've put workshops, so you can carry on, so I can carry on building. Obviously, I'm still using mods to build this because this is a lot of stuff, and in order to make all this, it is a ridiculous amount of time. So this is my newest building I created. This is my like crafting area where everything has everything around me. It's just so I've got a place to come if I need to build anything too much. So as you can see, these little sheds are where all the little toolbox, all the workshops are. Now I have got workshops all in my base as well. There's workshops in the foundation so I can build. Um, and then we'll come back around here. So yep. I have planted another tree here. Hopefully it will grow at some point. Uh, this is my main house. Now my main house I was building out to start with because it, having like having like a workshop area under your house is quite cool. I like this so I was able to build it all here as well. Um, it's well lit. It's all good. And it you know if there's too much smoke then it's all you know we can get rid of the smoke. This is my main house. I still haven't built it. I, haven't, I still haven't put a bed in here. I haven't done anything. I just built it because I wanted a big house mainly that's all it's for but yeah so I, I was going to put my bedroom on this side i was going to put something on this side but not sure what i'm doing with it it's just here for show really at the moment it's like a show house at one of those like big new brand new in you know estates this is the bedroom there's nothing in it it's all good there this is the kitchen there's nothing in it but you can see the pipes that's pretty much what i'm going for at the moment okay so this is my forging area so we can build uh we've got our kiln for making charcoal we've got our smelter we've got our smelter and we've got our big one as well so everything all under one roof and like i said it's all been fun next is storage i haven't got around to like labeling things yet all i did was just build this so it's basically a massive house full of chests as I go through the game, as I go through picking things up and labeling, I can label different chests, different areas, and have like, you know, this is all wood items, or this is all. It's just basically to like quell my OCD when it comes to like putting things out. Alongside this, we I went with a slightly defensive wall as well, so my wall turned into uh, like almost like a shooting gallery, where you can shoot things from up here, way up here, and just have a bow and arrow and just shoot out. Obviously, later on when I'm finished with this, I want to have all this sort of like all dotted out with like different bits and pieces. But this is a big project. It's going to take me a really long time. And I'm doing sort of one or two things a day because like for four hours, I'll get to like put stuff together. I built a well. So if you want to learn how to do this, I'll probably put a video together. If I haven't already, I'll put a video together on how to build a circle well. But it was, uh, yeah, I worked that out for myself. That was good. I mean, it's, it's a little bit ropey when it comes to the floor, but, you know, it's a Viking village. It's not supposed to be, like, grand. And then it comes down to the last part of my base. As you can see, I mean, I am growing trees here and there just to make it all look a bit nicer. Um, and as we come down, this is my dock. So my dock has got my boat. It's got this little... Surf, and I came with a jail as well because, well, why not? Uh, obviously, it has to have a table and chair and a bed. I don't think I can sit in this bed, um, but it has to have a tall brick chest as well to actually build it as well. So... Yeah, after putting the wall around and the fence around and basically just going hell for leather on building stuff, it's coming it's coming up all right. It has been a little bit of a it has been I think I've been building this mainly for about a week now. As I said, I play for a couple of hours each night after my kids have gone to bed and everyone has gone to bed. About sort of like nine onwards for about midnight. It takes me about three hours to do each sort of section I'm I'm looking at the moment. But um 
yeah, it's it's been fun. And I'm only using mods to basically build this because in order to do all of this, you'd have to chop down an entire forest. I'm building it out of wood mainly because it's the aesthetic of the place. The stone is mainly just for like foundational work, just to base, uh, just to like cap it all in. Putting in the corners and actually making things like this is actually quite easy. Um, as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a video on like how to build corners and circles and bits and pieces. But doing this is actually quite easy if you if you sort of like you don't go from the bog standard foundation side, and you just have to build on a second layer. It does help. Um, I'll be experimenting for a little bit before I actually do that, but it's yeah, it's been all right. And as I said, it's 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 all coming together. It's looking a bit more homey. Because if you remember, when if you have seen that shorts video, you just saw the house being built and like a desolate land around it. Now it's actually all starting to look more. I don't know. It's starting to look more like a village. Well, more like an actual like enclosed area, and I'm liking it. it. It's generally just coming together quite nice, which is good. As I said, I'm hoping all these piles of wood disappear at some point and they're all going to rot away. But if not, I'll have to sort of I'll have to put them all into storage. Going by it. I think the actual the the workshops are actually keeping enemies away because nothing's really spawning up here anymore, which is quite nice. I'm hoping that's the way it is because, well, it's quite nice to have like this free space, you know, where nothing's really spawning. I'm not even seeing like animals either, so I think the workshops may be like your actual guard. Now I don't know if that's confirmed by anybody. If it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear like somebody's thought on that because if it is right, it's all good. So yeah. The, uh, the main thing I've got to build now is the teleportation gallery. It's going to be a very long house, very low roof, lots of teleporters. The reason we're going to have lots of teleporters in there is because, well, I need to go places. I need to show you how to do things. And if I've got a central hub where I can teleport everywhere else, it's all good, right? So that's the next thing, a gallery of teleporters. Apart from that, we're all good. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll show you more development as I go through making this. I've actually enjoyed making this. It's... Uh, it's been quite nice just to chill out and calmly do this. I'm, I might start doing this on a live stream just so I can actually show you what I'm up to and how my little brain works. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, guys, I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.